Христос Воскрес! Вітаємо всіх у нашому храмі, де ми сьогодні зібралися разом, щоб помолитися за те, що все вчора в Божого Негоя і таким чином просити того Воскреслого Христа, щоб він, який є запорукою нашого Воскресіння, щоб він освоїв душу Григорія у місці світу, де всі світі і праведні спочивають. Сьогодні, оскільки ми перебуваємо в часі світлого тижня, то похорон є інакший, так? Тобто ми будемо співати Воскресну утрень. Нам, що Христос переміг смерть, Він нам життя. Welcome everyone to our church. Today we gather together to pray for the soul of the servant of God, uh, Greg, and ask God to put his soul in just repose. Today's service will be a little bit different, because we are on a bright week. We are celebrating Pascha, the resurrection of Christ, so we will pray not the parastas, but the resurrection matins, because that death and sin and make us free, and he gives life to each and every of us. So let's pray. Благослови, владико. Благословен Бог наш завжди, нині повся час. Благословен Бог наш завжди. Амінь. Христос воскрес із мертвих смертю смерть подолав і тим, що роба подарував. Воскрес із мертвих, смертю смерть подала. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered, and let those who hate from before his face. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish, as rock smells before the fire. could perish at the presence of God, and let the righteous ones once rejoice. Christ. 
This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us exalt and rejoice in it. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever, and to the ages of ages, Amen. Воскрес из мертвых, смертью смерть подала. So God, in the greatness of your compassion, we pray you, hear us and have mercy. We also pray for the repose of the soul, the servant Greg of God who has fallen asleep and for the forgiveness on his offense voluntary and involuntary. That the Lord God may please his soul where all the just repose. Let us ask Christ, our immortal King and our God, for the mercy of God, for the kingdom of heaven, and for the forgiveness of his sins. Let us pray to the Lord. For your Christ, our God, the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servant Greg, who has fallen asleep. And we give glory to you together with the Eternal Father, the most holy, good, and life giving Spirit, but now and ever to the ages of ages. Воскресіння день, просвітімся люди, Пасха Господня, Пасха від смерти, Бо до життя і від землі до небес, Христос Бог нас перевів, Перемоги пісню співаємо. Почисьмо почуття і побачимо Христа Неприступним світлом воскресення сяючого І щоб ясно почули, як каже Радуйтеся, побідну пісню співаємо Небеса ото достойно, нехай веселяться, земля ж неха радується, нехай празднує світ видимий, увесь і невидимий, бо Христа свостав радість і вічна. Come, let us partake of the new drink, not miracles produced from the barry rock, but from the fountain of immortality, springing up from the tombs of Christ. In him is our first strength. Christos was Christ's man. Today all things are filled with light, Earth and heaven and the world beneath, then let all creation celebrate the resurrection of Christ. In him is the firm foundation of all things. Christ, all
I was buried yesterday with your Christ, but today I rise, resurrected with you. Yesterday I crucified myself with you, my Savior. Now glorify me with you in your kingdom. Опередивши ранок ті, що були з Марією, і знайшовши камінь відвалений від гробу, Почули від ангела, чому шукаєте як людину того, хто є в світлі присносушному. Ведете ровні полени, біжіть і світові проповідуйте, що востав Господь, що мовили в смерть. Він, бо є син Бога, що спасає рід людське. На божественні сторожі, бо власний авакум, нехай стане з нами і покажемо. Каже світлоносно ангела, що ясно говорить, Днес спасень світові, бо воскрес Христос, як всесильний. Як мужицький пол, що утворив дівичу трапу, явився Христос, як чоловіканцем назвався, і непрочним, бо не зазнав скверни наша Пасха, і як Бог істини звершеним зветься. Бо отець же Давид перед тіненим ковчем танцював і граючи, люди ж Божі святі здійснення прообразів бачивши, веселімся побожно, бо воскрес Христос як всесильний. Let us rise at early dawn and bring to our master the hymn instead of mir, and we shall see Christ, the Son of Righteousness, who at lights the life of all. When those bound by chains in the realm of death saw your boundless mercy, O Christ, they hasted to the light with joy, praising the eternal past. Hearing torches, let us meet the bridegroom Christ, and he co- as he comes forth from his tomb, and let us greet with joyful songs the saving task of God. You, you have descended into the realm of death, O Christ, and have broken accident bounds which held the captive. You arose from the tomb on the third day, like Jonah from the well. When you arose from the tomb of Christ, you preserved its seals intact, just as in your holy birth, a virgin's vow was unbroken, you opened to us the gate of paradise. O oh, my Savior, being God, willingly offered yourself as a never-consumed yet living quick team. You gave yourself to the Father. You arose from the tomb, resurrecting Adam, the father of all. Have mercy on us, O God, in the greatness of your compassion will pray you hear us and have mercy. Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй. We also pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God Greg, who has fallen asleep and for the forgiveness of his offenses, Voluntary and involuntary. Then the Lord God may place in soul where all the just repose. Let 
that all those Christ, our immortal King, and all God, for the mercy of God, for the kingdom of heaven, and for the forgiveness of his sins. Let us pray to the Lord. For you, Christ, have a God of the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servant Greg, who has fallen asleep, and we give glory to you together with your eternal Father, and the most holy good and long in his spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Безсмертний, що сотворив і збудував чоловіка, а ми земні, землі утворені, в ту ж землю підемо, бо так звелів ти, що утерив мене і сказав мені, що земля і сив землю відеш, куди всі ми люди підемо. Будь надробним ридання, співаючи пісню. Аллилуйя, Аллилуйя, Аллилуйя. Будьмо уважені, мир всі, премудрість будьмо уважені. Будьмо уважені. Ти мені сказав Петро до людей, мужі ізраїльські, послухайте цих слів. Ісуса Назорея, мужа, якого засвідчив Бог у вас, силами і чудами, і знаменнями, що їх сотворив Бог, через чого посеред вас, як і самі знаєте, чого видано визначеного постановою і передбаченням Божим, ви взяли і руками беззаконне пригвоздивши убили. Його Бог солоскресив, розрішивши болізні смерти, бо неможливо було, щоб вона держала Його. Давид Бог говорить про Нього, «Я бачу Господа передо мною завжди, бо Він праворуч в мене, щоб я не захитався, ради чого возвеселилося серце моє і розрадувався язик мій, ще і в плоть моя відпочине у надії». Бо не оставив і душі моєї у аді, і не даси преподобному твоєму виїти з окління. Сказав ти мені дороги життя, сповнив мене радістю перед лицем твоїм. Мужі, брати, нехай буде вільно сміло сказати вам про патріарха Давида, що помер і був похований, і гріб його є у нас аж до по цей день. Бувши, оже, пророком і віддаючи, що Бог п'ятвою поклявся йому, сплода його бедра в оплоті воздвигнути Христа і посадити його на престолі його. Він, предведівши, говорив про воскресіння Христа, 
Христове, що не зостанеться душа Його в аді, ні плоть Його не бачить розотління, чого Ісуса воскресив Бог, Йому ж не є свідками. Десницею отже Божою Він возніща і прийнявши від Отця обітування Святого Духа, вилив Його, що і ви нині бачите і чуєте. Давид бо зійшов на небеса, сам же Він говорить, сказав Господь Господеві моєму, сиди праворуч мене, поки не порожу ворогів твоїх, пікніжем ніх твоїх. Нехай отже твердо знаю весь дім Ізраїлів, що і Господом, і Христом його Бог учинив от того Ісуса, якого ви розпяли. Аллилуйя! Until the end of the world. Ім'я Отця і Сина, і Святого Духа, Христос Воскрес! Воїстинно Воскрес! Please be seated. As I said at the beginning, that today we gather together to pray. To pray, to say thank you for the life of the servant of God back, but also to ask God to put his soul where you just repose. Because we as a Christian, we know and believe that our life is not ended when we pass from this world. We're using the word path. We pass from one world to the other. We 
pass from one life to the other. We pass from life in this world to the eternal life that God prepared for each and every of us from the beginning of the world. And you know, all the time I said that God never has coincidences. He has a plan. Sometimes for us it's hard to understand that plan because we are looking from our point of view, from our perspective. And we are unable to see the whole picture that God prepared. But from his point, he prepared something great for each and every of us. He prepared place in his heavenly kingdom. He prepared a place in his home where there is no pain, sorrow, mourning, but life and joy and happiness. And even to fulfill this plan, he, God, who created everything, he took flesh, became one of us, came into this earth. He lived here. He taught us. He committed miracles and risen people from the dead. At the end, he was betrayed, arrested, suffered, crucified. But on the third day, he rose from the dead. And by his death and resurrection, he conquered death and sin and made us free. And granted life to each and every of us and invite us to live life in fullness with him and in him. In the ordinary time when we gather to pray on a someone's funeral, we hear the gospel when, when Jesus says that he came into this world that everyone who hears and believes in him may not perish but have eternal life. That's the reason. But today we hear the same gospel that each and every of us heard during the baptism. Because baptism is our birthday to life with God and in God. And today is the day when we finish our temporary life and started the fullness of life in God's kingdom. God came into this world so everyone who hear his voice and believe in him might not perish but have eternal life. He created us for life, not for death. Unfortunately, death came into this world because of the sin. When we committed the sin, we make step away from the life that he offered to us. But he never stepped away from us. He waits us, look after us, and invites us. So our life is the big choice when we are called to show where we would like to live, with whom we would like to live. Today, is on, the one day, on one hand, is the sad day, because we say goodbye to the person who we love. But it's the day of great joy, because Greg is already on his way to the better place, to the place where we, all of us, are invited to be. And that's why we pray and ask God to put him in this place, place of light, joy, and happiness, without any troubles, any temptations, any struggles, any disease. As I said, we can't understand God's plan because he is God. We are people. But we can listen to him, follow him, and believe in him. And that will be assurance that we will be all together in his heavenly kingdom in the place that he prepared from each and every of us from the beginning. Christos Oskras.
Воскресіння Христове бачивши, поклонімося тому Господу Ісусові, єдиному безрішному, Христу Твоєму поклоняємося Христе, і святе і Воскресення Твоє оспівуємо і славимо, ти боїси Бог наш, крім тебе іншого не знаємо, ім'я Твоє минуємо, прийдіть усі вірні, поклоніми святому Христовому Воскресенню, ось бо прийшла через хрест радість усьому світові. Повсяк час благословляючи Господа, оспіваємо Воскресіння Його, бо перетерпівши розп'яття, Він смертю смерть розрушив. God, who saved the three youth from the furnace, has become man and suffered as any mortal, but his patient clothed in his mortality. With the splendors of incorruption, he is the only blessed one, God of our fathers, and is worthy of all praise. Pious women ran in tears to your Christ, bringing mirth to you as dead. But instead they adore you in joy as the living God, and announced your mystical Passover to your disciples. We celebrate the victory over death the destruction of the deep abyss and the birth of the new eternal life. With joy we praise the author of all things, the only blessed one, God of our fathers, for he is worthy of all praise. This most splendid and saving night is curt and all worthy of solemnity. It heroes the birthday of the resurrection, on which the eternal light in a flash has shown forth from the tomb to all. This is that chosen and holy day, feast of feast, most solemn day, only King and Lord of all Sabbath, on which we ever praise Christ. Come on this glorious day of resurrection and partake of the fruit of the new wine, the divine joy of the Christ kingdom, ever praising Him, our God. Lift up your eyes, O Zion, and behold, see your children coming to you from the east, west, north, and south. They come to you like stars of light divine. Have a blessing, Christ. Almighty Father, Spirit, and World, three persons, yet one essence, fullness of all beings and divinity, we have been baptized in you and ever bless you. Oh.
Скінчення віку Христа, Йо, ми вірні за утвердження, Надії маючи, Радуємося. О, Пасху, велика і найсвятіша Христа, О, мудрости, Слове Боже і Сило, Подавай нам тісніше з'єднатися з Тобою В невечірній день царства Твого. Плотю засну, як мертві. Царю і Господи, тридневний Воскрес єси. Адама воздавих істилі, і з нищив смерть Пасха на тлі. Свету спасення You King and Lord Have fallen asleep As a mortal man, but on the third day you arose again. You have raised and main death powerless. You are the past of incorruption. You are the salvation Славен єси, Господи, навчи мене управдань Твої. Ангелі, Слово Дево, Бог, 
Благословение се, Господи, научи меня оправдань Твоих. Благословение се, Господи, научи меня оправдать Твои. Благословение се, Господи, научи меня оправдать Твои. Слава Чу и Сыну и Святому Духу. Сыну и Святому Духу, Святи Тройцы в едине Душности, И Серафима мы взываем, Че Свят, 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 И Сегодь, И ныне и по всех час, И на веки, веки в Зараз перед останнім цілуванням родина ще бажає сказати декілька слів. I am Daniel Bob, Greg's son. I'd like to come in today and supporting us over the last days and weeks. I'd like to extend a special thanks to Dad's doctors, Anastasia and Annabelle, the people who visited and supported him when he was in hospital, Father Andre for providing him with spiritual comfort, and to Mum's work friends who checked in on her. Today, I have the privilege of saying the eulogy and my Dad's funeral. I'd like to share some stories about his life. Dad was born on the 13th of October, 1949, in a small village called Gajevi in Yugoslavia, which is in present-day Bosnia. His hometown meant a lot to him, and he even had a set of personalised number plates made with Gajevi printed on them. He was the second eldest of Peter and Teresa's six children. A bit more difficult than it is now, and I remember my dad telling me stories of him walking through snow to go to school. After he finished school, Dad did a car mechanics apprenticeship at Polom and worked there for about six months. In 1971, when he was 21, Dad decided to go to holiday, on holiday to Australia and visit his cousin Ivan and Aunt Olga in Ardia. He lived with them for a, for a year and decided to make a life for himself in Australia. He then lived with his uncle Slavko Domjanchuk and his wife Liza and, they, and their children, Ma, um, Maria, Paul and Michael. He grew quite close to Slavko and they often went fishing together and played billiards late into the night and the two saw each other regularly up until Slavko's passing. Dad did not want to be a car mechanic in Australia 
and you got a job at Olympic Aluminium as a fitter and turner and tool maker. He was a dedicated worker and became good friends with his boss, John Travisaros. John and Dad often worked on weekends at John's vineyard, cultivating grapes and making wine. Mum still has a few bottles of the wine in the bar at home. Dad worked at Olympic until he retired in 2018. When living in Ardea as a young man, one Sunday morning he saw other young men and boys playing soccer on a school oval and he heard them speak Yugoslav. Dad approached them and asked if he could join them and he met Franjo Zhirovsky. They became quite very close friends, with mum and dad being Franjo's eldest child and his godparents. In 1973, he was introduced to Maria Hadasemchuk by his aunt Sonia. They fell in love and married on the, 20, on the 2nd of November 1974. This year is the 50th anniversary of my parents' marriage. Together they bought their first home in St Albans, worked very hard to save money and paid off the mortgage. My godfather, Fetch Homer, and his wife, Natalie, moved in with mum and dad in 1975. They became lifelong close friends, and dad considered Hetch to be his brother. Throughout their lives, they did many activities together, including fishing and camping. One memory I have are the sausage nights where the Homers and the Bodners would buy a pig, make sausages and burger patties into the early morning. As a young man, dad was a bit of a bogan. He had a poo brown colour charger. There is a story that he, pulled, he was pulled over by the police for speeding this charger. And when asked by the police officer if he, if he knew that he was a dangerous driver, my dad answered that he was. Apparently, the police officer was so surprised by his answer that he let him off without a speeding ticket. I think that this was the beginning of dad's vigilance around police cars while driving, as he would never allow my sister or I to wave to police while we were in the car, and he always slowed down to 10 kilometres below the speed limit if he saw a police car. Maybe he was worried that the police officer who didn't give him a ticket would remember him and give him the ticket. Although he didn't like eating fish, he loved fishing. It was never too hard for him to get up at 3am in the cold northern mornings and go fishing. He could sit next to the water for hours and didn't mind the fact that he didn't catch anything. That said, he was very proud if he did catch something and there is still a 50-year-old stuffed rainbow trout mounted on the wall just to prove that he didn't come home empty-handed from all these fishing trips. In 1967 I was born, and in 1979 my sister Tanya was born. Mum says that their lives were full of happiness and their family complete. In 1981, Dad wanted to live closer to his there for about six months. Uncle Slavko, Stanko and Peter and, they, and their family. So they built a house in RD and moved there, where they lived for 19 years. I have many fond memories of our life in our dear. Dad would play with us in the backyard and meticulously look after his fruit trees, beans and tomatoes. He was always very handy and his garage had more tools than I could imagine and more than even he realised. I even remember counting eight Stanley knives sitting in an old mug. Dad could fix almost anything and if he couldn't fix it, he would keep it anyway. His garage also had other exciting things in there including the litres of grappa that he made with Hretch. I remember the smell of coming from the garage one summer afternoon after some of the bottles of grappa exploded. Dad loved cooking, bar Dad loved cooking the barbecue. He was a master of cooking chicken thighs that mum had marinated and satarash, which is barbecue capsicum, onions and tomatoes. He often cleaned the hot plate with a piece of bread, which he ate just to make sure all those flavours didn't go to waste despite my mum yelling at him and saying eating all that grease wasn't healthy. Unfortunately, he never did master cooking steaks on the barbecue, as the only way he could cook them was extra well done. Despite being a quiet man, he enjoyed family and friend gatherings, where there would be a lot of long tables of food and drink, with loud debates and lots of laughter. Dad taught me many lessons as a boy, including how to drive, the importance of having a beer after a good day's work and why neat handwriting is important. Admittedly, I've had plenty, admittedly, I have pretty bad handwriting and I should listen to him now as I have to, with all the complaints from the nursing staff I work with. Dad's strongest personality features was that he wasn't afraid of hard work and he was always ready to donate his time and help anybody. This continued throughout his life, and he often helped people move things, pour concrete, build patios, and cut down trees. 
I can still remember him helping Ebra and I by fixing our futon. He meticulously cut a piece of wood and fit it into the break in the futon frame. The futon stayed fixed for years. Yeah, we only got rid of it after we moved the house and replaced it with a new couch. Hey, well the highlight was the fact that Eben and I came home and there was Dad with a saw in our living room with sawdust everywhere and him looking so pleased with himself. He was always available to pick me up after when I was a teenager and it never was a bother for him to drive me and my friends' places even if it was four hours away. Mum and Dad moved to the current place in Maribyrnong in 2000. As a testament to his skills being handy, he built a pergola for Mum and they would have coffees under it and admire their garden. The magnolias, the birds and the occasional river rats sneaking into the garden. He loved having visits from his grandchildren and called them his chip chip. They played in the autumn leaves together and collected acorns, acorns from the trees in the park. He honestly enjoyed playing hairdressers and having his hair styled and watching them singing and dancing. Mum and Dad loved travelling. They spent many weekends away camping with their camping buddies, Wally and Slavka, Hrech and Natalie, Slavka and Kathy. Mum and Dad together visited many interesting places with two grand tours of Europe, including visiting Ukraine and, vi- and the villages of the ancestors, their ancestors, visiting family and friends in the former Yugoslavia. They toured Japan and China, caravaned around Australia and explored New Zealand, Tasmania, Cape York, the Kimberleys and the Blue Mountains. Unfortunately, when Dad got diagnosed with kidney failure in 2000 and became dependent on dialysis, they travelled less frequently but continued to do short trips and drive. Despite having kidney disease, Dad was still always keen to help and was never too busy to pick me up from the airport when I was visiting Melbourne for work or a family visit. It was during one of these trips that he shared his most valuable lesson with me, namely, you should always plan for the future, but you have to live today. We'll miss you, Dad. Thank you. And more. Зараз буде останнє цілування, нагода, коли ми кажемо наше останнє слово до тіла усопшого раба Божого. Тож під час співу стихер Паски, перша родина, потім всі бажаючі можуть пройти біля домовини, сказати, що бажають сказати, потім я буду стояти тут з Христом, хто бажає може поцілувати хрест, хто ні, лише поклонитися, і, будь ласка, стаємо на своє місце, щоб ми продовжували нашу молитву. Now we have the bidding farewell, is when we say our love the body of the person who we loved. So during the singing of the Sikhir of Pascha, family first and then everyone else would like just pass near the coffin, touch the coffin, say that we'd like to say that I'll be standing here, you can come to me, kiss the cross. If you don't want, if you don't wish to kiss the cross, you can just bow down and please go back to your place so we can continue our prayer. I was Yeah.
Smart, you 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 smart,
Spirits and all flesh, you trampled death, you made the devil powerless, and you gave life to your world. Now, O Lord, to the soul of your servant Greg, who has fallen asleep, grant rest in a place of light, a place of endurance, and a place of tranquility, from each pain, sorrow, and mourning have fled. As the good and loving God give every sin of thought, word, or deed he has committed, there is no one who will live and will not sin. For you alone are sinless, your justice is everlasting justice, and your word is truth. For your Christ, the God, the resurrection, the life, and the repose. And Greg, who has fallen asleep, and we give glory to you together with the eternal Father and the most holy, good, and life giving Spirit, but never, never to the ages of ages. Слава Тобі, Христе Боже, уповання наше, слава Тобі! Що воскрес із мертвих, смертю смерть подала від тим, що в робах життя дарував істинний Бог на постелі преподобних посних хоців наших і всіх святих, душу раба свого ріорія, що переставився в селях праведних оселить, на лоні Авраму упокоїть, до праведних причислить і нас помилу і спасе, бо він благий чоловік олюба. May our Lord and God Jesus Christ, who has given his divine authority to his holy disciples and apostles to bind and lose the sins of the fallen, and from whom in turn we have received the obligation to do likewise. Forgive your spiritual child, Greg, whatever you have committed in your life, the liberty or through human, through human frailty, now and forever and ever. Amen. 
у блаженнім успенні вічної покій. Поди, Господи, присно пам'ятному рабу Твоєму, Григорію сотворимо вічною пам'ять Христос Воскрес! Дякуємо всім за спільну молитву. Зараз ми будемо формувати процесію і відтак їхати на кладовище Кіло. Thank you for your prayer. Uh, now we'll make the procession and we'll go for the Kilo Cemetery for the burial of the seven of God and Greg.